up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia Danielle. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and rocking with me. I was just putting some cocoa butter on my nose because I had like two little small blackheads right here and I pushed them out and I feel like I am getting a scar right here. I'm not really sure if y'all can see it, but I always put cocoa butter on my dark scars. So I always use the cocoa butter stick on my dark scars and I am currently using the bio oil skincare oil which helps with scars, stretch marks and all of that. And I will link that down below because it is on my Amazon storefront if you are interested. But I wanted to go over some things with you really quick. Today is Sunday, April the 7th, 2024. Me and Jaden went to the gym this morning around 9ish. Um we got finished around 12 we met Julian at the Waffle House because I had to talk to them really quick about some things in regards to like communication within the household and as a family and how we can improve on communicating so after we left the gym we met Julian at the Waffle House and we ate first and then we talked I also because I don't know how to pronounce the name picked up my prescription it is called Clobestol um and it is for my traction alopecia let me let the lens focus but it is for my traction alopecia so i picked that up and then i also did a real youtube short and TikTok on this Yara Latafa perfume and so I have to spray it several times throughout the day because the scent only lasts for like maybe two or three hours right and so if y'all are interested in purchasing that it smells really good it's really fruity it's not on the high end I think my husband paid 28 29 bucks for it and it came in the mail on Amazon Prime within like five business day so like he ordered it on a monday and i got it on a friday so if y'all are interested in purchasing that then by all means i like the smell but the wear of it only lasts two or three hours and i guess that's what you get when you purchase like cheap perfume but i'm gonna just be honest all the other expensive perfumes that i have like mark jacobs ysl um coach those perfumes only last about three to four hours and so it doesn't really matter how much the cost of perfume is. I think depending on what you're doing throughout the day, where you're going, whether you're outside, whether you're indoors, perfume is just gonna wear off over time. I think that's what naturally happens. Now, body oils, I think body oils last longer. But enough about that. I wanted to get on here and talk to you all about some of the imperfections that I have that I recognize within myself. And then I want to talk to you all about some of the benefits that dependents and spouses have in regards to being affiliated with the military. So first I would like to start off by saying that I feel some type of way about my teeth, I always have. And so I had braces. I would go to the dentist every time I needed to go just to ask questions, just to ask how can I do this, how can I do that. I also went and got veneers, which if you are not tracking, I created a, a few videos about going to Miami and getting veneers, how much I paid, um, is it allowed in the military and all of that, all of that stuff. And what basically an update because I did like a six month or a one year update on my veneers but what I have noticed as far as like an imperfection is that I when I was like in my 20s and I was stationed at Fort Stewart I had some cavities that's what the dentist said and they gave me gold caps and so I would like to get those gold caps replaced and so the recommendation that the dental clinic gave me was to go to sick call hours between 07 and 09 to go get a referral off post because they're so backed up in regards to being able to change those crowns out and making those gold crowns white crowns or some of the silver into like white cavities i don't know what it is or what it's called but i have to go to sick call and then get referred off post and once i get referred off post i guess they'll be able to change out my gold caps and so the reason why i feel like that is an imperfection is because when i talk and i like have my mouth really wide y'all can see the gold caps and i'm just like i have veneers in the front of my teeth are white but when I'm talking really loud I have gold caps and that don't even make sense because at that point it's just like okay you have veneers in the front but you have gold silver um, cavities in the back and so that's an imperfection that I have been beating myself up about also every time I get a cycle I have been really putting a lot of oil and cocoa and cocoa butter on my face y'all I for the life of me cannot 
get clear skin no matter how much water I drink, no matter what I do to put cocoa butter on. Every time I get a cycle, I get a dark spot and that's an imperfection that I am beating myself up about because there are a lot of people out there that have really clear skin. There are women who don't get breakouts or pimples when they get a cycle and I know it's like based off of my hormones and I feel like it has something to do with like hereditary um, genes or whatever within my, my family because my mom has spots from when she had pimples and stuff like that and my grandma also would. And so of course, when you get a pimple, you sometimes let it go away, sometimes you pop it, sometimes you put toothpaste on it, sometimes you use cleanser daily or whatever. And I do all of that and I still end up getting a spot. And so I made an appointment, my primary care physician gave me a referral off post. And so I plan on going to get seen to see what I can do to clear up some of these dark spots. Now I have used Differin in the past and Cetaphil, um, Fenty Skin and now I'm using the, the Bio Oil Skincare Oil and the Cocoa Butter which I do feel like I see a change when I use the Cocoa Butter Stick but again every month when I get a cycle I get a pimple and I'm just stuck with a scar on my face and so that's an imperfection that I feel like I have. I also feel like my nose is huge huge. I feel like when I talk y'all can see up my nostrils and I was thinking about wanting to get seen to see if I can get my nostrils like smaller or see if I can get something done to my nostrils because I feel like my nose is big y'all. I feel like when I talk depending on how I'm standing how I'm sitting or what I am saying y'all can see the gold caps y'all can see the silver caps and y'all can see up my nostrils and so I feel like that's an imperfection that I have. Also, um, my edges, my traction alopecia, I had full edges. They slowly over time started like getting real fine and real thin. Um, now I haven't had braids or I had some Bob Marley twists when me and my husband went on a cruise and I think that was like back in 2022. But before that, I have just been getting retwists. The last retwist that I got was November of 2023. So I have not gotten a retwist. I'm trying to go six months. Um, without getting a retwist or I might just wait until my birthday and my birthday is in May at that point I think I'll be going on six and a half seven months without a retwist but I wanted to talk to y'all about some imperfections that I have that I feel like I beat myself up about and another thing that I do is when I feel bloated or when I know I have missed going to the gym for like two or three days I will be like listen I have to go to the gym there's nothing else that I will not do today or tomorrow until I get into that gym and so I I have been going to this gym consistently since my last deployment which was my third deployment in 2019 up until now and so I feel like when I don't go I just lose or gain weight and I feel like it's all mental also but that is an imperfection that I feel like I have and so if you are suffering with having um, imperfections or if you are not suffering from having imperfections but if you are mentally beating yourself up about it I feel like you should do something about it you know what I'm saying like I'm not gonna get on here and say that women fix themselves by getting breast implants or BDLs or whatever but I feel like women have insecurities and those insecurities are not because of someone else those insecurities are because of us a lot of men will be like well oh you want a big butt because she got a big butt or oh you want veneers and you want your teeth white because this person or that person and it's just like no that's not what I'm trying to do at least I know I'm not I am actually doing this because this is an imperfection that I have that I feel like will make me feel better about myself I mean I already know I look good I already know I'm not no ugly female I feel like I'm pretty pretty you know I feel like when I do my makeup I'm putting myself together because we do have times and moments when we feel like we looking like a bomb that's just what it is we have days when we are tired we have days when we don't feel like being bothered we have days when we don't feel like getting dressed and we go out in public with pajamas on, slides on, or whatever the case. We don't do no put no makeup on or whatever. So I feel like having an imperfection or feeling like I have an imperfection is normal, but I am going to do something about it. And I will let y'all know on the back end on, on another video, the outcome of some of the imperfections that I am talking about, right? And so, so next, 
Well, before we get started with the second portion of this video, I wanted to show y'all this nose ring. I got this nose ring when I was in Aspen and that was in November 2023. And so the reason why I have these nose rings in, which I haven't seen on a previous video, is because I have been off all week and I try to wear my nose rings to prevent my nose hole from closing or to prevent the hole from closing. Now this one over here, I have had this one for like three or four or five years, I don't know. I got it when I was in SFAB back in 2018 and I just have had it since. And I don't really have to put a hole or a nose ring in this one, but for the most part, I always have to put this one in because it's still like fairly new. Okay, now let's talk about the benefits of being a dependent and being affiliated with the military. So just recently, I found out through a soldier that if you have a spouse or if you have a dependent that wants to go to BSEP, they can go to BSEP. All they do is go to the Ed Center and they basically show up on day one and they are a, a, allowed to be admitted to attend BSEP and they go to the class every day and they are able to take the ASVAB or get with the recruiter and it helps them pre prepare and take the ASVAB at the end of the course. And so BSEP I thought was only offered to active duty National Guard Reserve so soldiers that were already like in, but those benefits as far as like going to BSEP, getting the study material, sitting down with instructors, going through the class because they have a morning and afternoon class, are for civilians and it is for i'm not really sure if it's for civilians but i know for a fact it is for military soldiers and it is in fact um available for dependents so if you have a a, a child that's your dependent and they are in high school and they want to take the ASVAB because they want to join the military and if they are in 11th or 12th grade or if they graduated and they are thinking about joining the military then they can go on post to the Ed Center and get enrolled in BSIP. Another benefit that they can have or utilize is the ACS building and so when you go to the ACS building they will help you with a resume whether is your whether you're a spouse and I'm sorry in regards to BSIP the spouse of the soldier member can go the dependents as long as they got an ID card or whatever they are able to go to BSEP so I think I forgot to mention the spouses as far as BSEP but spouses can go to BSEP as well now fast forward ACS if you go to the ACS building and you are a spouse or you are a dependent of a soldier member you can get help with the ACS services and so they will help you with a resume they'll help you with a job search there are so many things that are on post that I did not know about and so the reason why I know these things is because my stepson graduated last June and we're trying to get him to join or you know go into the military the army and these are some of the things that I am helping him do and so he went to the ACS building they sat down with him one-on-one -on -one. they showed him and went over the resume with him they showed him how to do a job search and if you are a spouse you get spousal preference for a job. And so, for example, my husband, he is not in the military, but since I am, when it came to him getting selected for a job, he had spousal preference, which means that, let's just say there's five other people who applied for a position, he will get the preference because he is a spouse and he will basically get moved to the top of the list and he will be number one to get that job versus the other four people they don't have like no experience they're not military affiliated they're not nothing they're just like a civilian trying to apply for a government job on post and so he was able to get a job first before everyone else through the acs building through working with usa jobs um and he now works at the finance office on post and he has been working at the finance office since 20 Oh, we left Arizona in 2018, since like 2016, 2017. And so when I PCS, he just transfers to another finance office. Um, another thing too is if you have a dependent or if you have a spouse that wants to join the military, that dependent or spouse can come on post and work out at the gyms, no cost. They can go to the library, ed center, you know, rent out books. They can do PT with the unit. Um, there are so many things. And the reason why I mentioned the gym is because my son, Jada, he goes to the gym faithfully. Now, I have a membership off post at Fitness Connection because Fitness Connection allows me to bring Phoenix in and they watch him while I am working out. And so if you 
want to be able to work out and you don't have no one to watch your kid i mean fitness connection is an option but all the gyms on post for dependents and spouses are free and so those are just some of the services that i wanted to talk to y'all about i didn't want this video to be too long and any other information that i found out i will make sure i put luckily i have a extra or a spare battery i have two that were charged already because my other battery just died but what i was saying is i didn't want to make this video too long i wanted to talk to y'all about my um imperfections and what i have been doing and what i will be doing and then i talked to y'all about some services for uh, dependents and spouses and if i can think of anything else i will come let y'all know um i do want to do a new video on b set because some things have changed and i want to go over that so i'll probably upload that video next week and then also Phoenix wants to get on here y'all so I'm gonna call Phoenix in here really quick he wants to say hi he's talking about starting his own YouTube channel me and his dad is kind of like skeptical about that but he loves to be behind the camera and so let me go get him real quick y'all all right y'all so this is Phoenix he wanted to get on camera um and just get a feel for what YouTube and vlogging and talking to the camera was like is like and so everybody this is Phoenix Phoenix say hi hello Say hi, hey like you regular would. Sit up. So I am holding him. He is seven years old, y'all, but he's not tall enough to reach the um, tripod because I have my camera mounted on a tripod. But he just got a retweet on Friday. Let me spin it around. Put it down. And I showed y'all his retwist on my previous video, but I just wanted y'all to see Phoenix. He's acting a fool right now, chewing gum. <laughs> and we are about to go watch a movie together because earlier I spent time with Jaden and Julian. And so now it's time for me to go spend some time with Phoenix before school starts tomorrow also because they have been on spring break. But I hope y'all like this video. I hope I didn't make it too long. Until next time, this is Amelia. Peace. Peace.